Welcome to On Our Bike. We were able to spend an extra night in Bridport due to the predicted heavy rain. We had a major fail today with technology with my mic not connecting, so apologise in advance for the voiceover parts. We've woken up to a beautiful day at Bridport today. It's the travel day for us, so that is just beautiful. So we leave Bridport and we got told we should go to a coffee shop in Springfield that's run by the Amish. Real food and homemade. So that's our plan. From there we'll double back to Launceston and go up to Exeter and then across to Devonport and that is Tasmania done after four months of travel and there's a lot we didn't do because we had a few days of inclement weather and we weren't able to go to some of the places I wanted to just like the mountain that's going to be there around the corner that I'm going to be able to see beautifully Ben Lomond so I guess I have to do it next time We'd been told about an Amish community at Springfield. We found their country stall where we got an amazing home-baked apple pie, but the tea rooms weren't open and that was num fail number one for coffee today. This should be the one that was closed two years ago. Um, yeah, well, it's, that's what I reckon. Yeah. So my boot touched the road. road soon turned into the old road which was very noticeable. Apparently there were 66 mils of rain in the area yesterday. The only sign of that was the old patch of wet road.
When we were here in 2022, we wondered what the building ahead with the tower was. Um, I did some research. In 1908, 100 hoteliers pulled their money and formed the Union Brewery. After two years, it was taken over by James Bogue. In 1926, the building was sold to the Tamar Knitting Mill and now it is a youth accommodation house. Quite impressive, really. From our last trip, Murray remembered a Burt Munro cafe at Exeter. It was closed two years ago and still closed today. Fail number two for coffee today. Beaconsfield is home to the Anzac Day 2006 mine collapse. 17 people were initially trapped, 14 escaped immediately, one died and two were rescued 14 days later. The coffee shop we wanted to go to was closed on Sundays. Coffee fail number three, we ended up at the bakery where Murray had one of his favourite Cornish pasties. Murray thought he'd lost his phone here. Crisis was averted. He'd managed to put it into a pocket of his jacket that he didn't know existed.
Radio. We've had a fantastic time. Just had a night with a friend at the airport, which is fantastic. And we are now heading up to the highway, across the bridge, and onto that Spirit of Tasmania boat over there. Maybe a bit less. There she is. Mighty Spirit of Tasmania. So, there's a lot of talk and controversy about two new Spirit of Tasmania boats. And maybe when we come back next time, that controversy will be sorted. The new uh, infrastructure will be built to house the boat. And we might get to come on a new boat. There we are, heading towards the departure terminal for the Spirit of Tasmania. Hopefully there's not many people going home today. We've been waiting for quite some time and now we have to wait a little bit longer. The people in front of us in the yellow vests are from Germany. About to head up the ramp onto the boat. Stop start up a hill is my favourite thing I love to do. Apparently the people in green also share the same enjoyment. So at least he's doing the smart thing and waiting. Nearly there. Nearly there. So I guess the big surprise will be where do we go when we go in this big ship's mouth? Uh, Davenport, it's been lovely seeing you for 24 hours. Uh, next time we come we believe we're going to spend more time here. Uh, yesterday afternoon we did a bit of touring around. There's roads running right beside the coast up towards Burnie. And they're the roads that you miss because you're on the highway. So yeah. As we leave the Apple Isle. For a couple of years maybe. I'm not too sure. We know we can't come back next year. Uh, hopefully. The year after that we might come back. We've had a really great trip here. We had some shitty weather. But all in all it's been pretty fantastic. So goodbye Tassie. Thanks for the memories. And may there be plenty more. Somewhere in front of us. There'd be the mainland Australia. So this is the view from our cabin. Very shortly, it will just be black. But it's pretty cool to have a view like this. We're right in the middle of the ship. Pretty cool.